Hey guys, it's Ghost57 coming at you for the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple MacBook Pro to an older 2012 iMac. Stay tuned guys and I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, so this is a pretty easy step-by-step -step guide on how to actually connect your newer MacBook Pro to a older 2012 iMac. Again, we only need a couple of things and these are proprietary from Apple. First thing we're gonna need is this Thunderbolt 3 USB-C to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. Uh, these can cost a little bit of money. Um, if you click right down below, I have some links to it from Amazon. It does give me a little bit of a kickback. If not, you can always get it on eBay used, a little bit cheaper, but I prefer to get everything brand new just to make sure it's properly functioning. Next thing we're gonna need is a Thunderbolt cable. So this one right here, I actually got a longer one. This is a two meter cable. Uh, this definitely helps out if you have a bigger desk or if you want your laptop a little further away from your display. Again, all these will be linked right down below. Next thing we're looking at, and this is optional, but this is your MacBook Pro charger. Um, depending on if you just want to put the monitor into a display mode only, or if you want to use it as a second display. If you want to use it as a second display, you really don't need your charger for your MacBook, unless you have a low battery issue like mine does, because it's an i9, and normally I have about two hours of battery life before it dies. But you do need one of these if you want to put it in a docking mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in and jump right into that. Okay guys, so first step, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our MacBook to the wall to charge it. The reason why we wanna do this is to actually put it into a docking mode. We don't have this plugged in when we close our MacBook, it's just gonna turn off. So we're gonna make sure that's plugged in first. Second, we're gonna grab our nifty Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C to our Thunderbolt 2 adapter. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. This is actually what makes all the magic work right here. And then lastly, our Thunderbolt 2 cable. So these can be kind of costly. Uh, again, all the links for this are right down below in the description. And I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you click on those links and buy them through those links. If not, you can always get these on eBay for a little bit cheaper. But you never know with used stuff. Sometimes it might not work. So sometimes extra dollars might come actually beneficial in the long run. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this into our little dongle right over here. And then we'll plug it into the back of the iMac. Keep in mind, I am using the two meter cable. If you do wanna save a little bit of bucks, you can get the one meter cable. My desk is pretty long, so I like that longer cable right there. So let's go ahead and plug this into the back of the iMac. Okay, so it can use, you can use one or two of these USB Thunderbolt adapters back here. This is what we're gonna be using to actually turn it into a display. So as easy as this, you'll go ahead and just plug it in and you're ready for the next and last step. So the next step is actually the easiest step and the cheapest. Pretty much you don't need to buy anything for this step at all. All you need is your iMac keyboard, your mouse and you're ready to go. So with our MacBook Pro open and turned on, you don't even have to actually unlock it. We're gonna go ahead and get to our iMac keyboard right over here. We're gonna press two buttons and like magic, we're gonna turn this into a display. So those two buttons are gonna be Command F2. And just like that guys, we turned our iMac 2012 27 inch that was a big hunk of junk taking up space into a nice dual monitor setup for our newer MacBook Pro. So if you want to turn it into a docking station, keep in mind you're gonna need a whole different keyboard and mouse for your MacBook Pro, because this will not work off your older one unless you resync it. And it's kind of a pain in the backside to do that, to have both computers set up to one. So what I like to do is have them separated. So, very easy with it plugged into the wall. We're just gonna close this. And now this will become pretty much our main display from our iMac. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the other keyboard and mouse and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now that we have our other keyboard and mouse, we're pretty much ready to go. 
So you see right here, we turned our older computer pretty much into a brand new computer. And it definitely helps out coming from a 15 inch screen to a 27 inch screen. Definitely easier to do your daily task with a nicer, bigger screen, especially nowadays with all the multitasking we need to do. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Of course, if there's any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll go ahead and try my best to answer those. As always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Ghost57 out. Have a great day guys.